Hi, in this video we'll learn how to subtract a fraction from a whole number. So the first thing we need to do is to convert the whole number into a fraction. And to convert a whole number to a fraction, we just need to put one in the denominator. So whenever you want to convert a whole number into a fraction, you just set the denominator equal to one. And see, we did not change the value of it because five divided by one is still five. This is just a different way of writing five. So now when we have converted the whole number into a fraction, we have the fractions here. This is also a fraction and this is also a fraction. Now we can add or subtract the fractions, but let's see, first of all, uh, let's see the denominators. Do we have the same denominators? No. So we cannot subtract the fractions unless we have the like denominator. So now we want the denominators to be same. So now what I'll do is I'll look at the denominator, which is smaller. So notice that one is smaller than eight. That means I need to manipulate this fraction in order to make the denominators equal. So what I'll do is think about this. How do I get from one to eight? What do I multiply into one to get eight? Because we want the denominator to be eight now. What do I multiply in one to make it equal to eight? Well, I can multiply one by eight because I know that one times eight is eight. Now, since I'm multiplying my denominator by eight, I will also have to multiply my numerator by 8 in order to balance my fraction. So I'll multiply the top number also by 8. Now what I'll do is I'll just multiply across. So multiplying the top number by the top number and the bottom number by the bottom number. So 8 times 5 is going to give me 40. And then 8 times 1 will give me 8. And we have the minus sign in between, we'll put that sign here, then I have one eighth. Now we have the same denominator. Since we have the like denominators, we can subtract these fractions. Now remember, whenever you subtract the fractions, you never subtract the denominator. So the denominator will stay eight, that will remain the same. We only subtract the numerator. So 40 minus one is gonna be equal to 39. So I got 39 over eight. Now this is an improper fraction. Whenever the top number is greater than the bottom number, that is called an improper fraction. And we cannot leave our answer in this form. We need to convert this into a mixed fraction. Whenever you have improper fraction, you can convert that into a mixed fraction. So we're going to divide this in order to convert this improper fraction into a mixed fraction. So let's divide it using the long division method. 39 divided by 8. 8 will go into 39 4 times. 8 times 4 is 32. And 9 minus 2 is 7. So 7 is a remainder. Now we're going to write this in this way. We write the quotient first of all. So 4 is my whole number. 4 is the quotient and 4 becomes my whole number. Because in mixed fraction you have the whole number and the fractional part. So the quotient becomes the whole number. The remainder becomes the fraction's numerator, so this is going to go on top. And then the divisor becomes the fraction's denominator. So our final answer is going to be 4 and 7 eighths. Remember, when you have to write a mixed fraction, your quotient becomes the whole number, and the remainder becomes your fraction's numerator, the divisor becomes the fraction's denominator. So this is our final answer. So I hope you found this video helpful. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.